Okay, so here we are with part three of phosphates, problems, and solutions. And I want to start out this third part of the video showing you guys how important it is to have and to add RODI water to your system. This is a phosphate test kit. It's not the best test kit out there, so by far, if you can, try to get the Salifert test kit. It's the best out there. It can really detect the levels. But I've taken three um, tests, as you can see here. And the first test here is the water that's coming from the tap. So obviously, the importance of having RODI water, I can't stress it enough. Um, try to get a uh, reverse osmosis uh, filter with um, DI resin on it if you can because this is basically what you're introducing into your tank every single time that you um, do a water change let's take this all the way up to the light here so you can take a look at it's almost 5.0 seriously I don't know if you can see it there very well so it's almost 5.0. So um, tap water, please do something about it, people. Seriously. This here is, let's take this up to the light, is the water that, this is the, the, the one that's coming out of my RODI unit. As you can see here, this camera just does not capture it very well, but um, I can tell you that I have to replace my RO unit. I really do. Um, I'm getting like a 0.25 to 0.5 reading coming out of my RODI unit. I haven't replaced the reverse osmosis for about two years. And that's about as long as it lasts. But I've discovered that I've been adding um, some phosphates into my system. So as you can see here. It's giving me a 0.25 reading because it's not so much the tan color. It's more of the yellowing green color, which is on the 0.25. So let's go to the last one here. The, this one is good money. Now, this is the one that comes out of my tank. Now, after installing the... Um, after installing the phosphate reactor, definitely zero ppm. However, um, after installing the phosphate reactor, um, um, it definitely eliminated the phosphates, but I did a water change. And yesterday I did a water change. And what did that do? It caused the, the dam diatoms to appear on my sand bed again because since the day that I installed the filter which is here as you can see here I've installed it I've what I did was to plumb this baby is that I added see if I could take this flashlight or you could definitely see it there I've added the maxi jet 600 taking water from the last stage so that um, it's taking water that's being filtered um, mechanically first pulling water into the top of the unit where I've got it opened all the way there's a reason why I've got it open all the way and the reason is that the water is coming into the fluidized bed and you can see it tumbling there you can definitely see the movement so um, what I did was that I took the output of the reactor and plumbed it to the back of, all the way up to the top of the aquarium. So that the top of the aquarium will be getting, I've, I've secured it with um, clear taping and I'm gonna fix that tomorrow. I'm gonna go out there and purchase some black duct tape just to make sure this thing does not fall off. But you can see here, I've also secured it with some tape against the back of the aquarium. 
So I'm, I, I was pleased with the results I got. Um, really, really pleased. But as you can see, after I did the water change yesterday, the diatoms appeared again. Now, another good thing about this resin media, Roa Foss, is that it's really good at removing silicates. And silicates is number one food for diatoms, which is what I'm getting. I don't have a severe problem to the point that um, I have cyanobacteria, which I don't, but I am concerned over the fact that the diatoms are growing in the bed. I did the water change yesterday. I can tell you that I installed the system um, two days ago. The following day, absolutely no diatoms of any kind in the glass. And I did not clean the glass, people. I've been honest with you up to number up to today. So I can tell you that it's very effective at removing the phosphates. And I'm just gonna have to do another video to show you guys the results. Um, possibly about two days from now. Just a quick video to show you the sand bed and and that the algae is not growing on there. So this is the way I've plumbed the the system it's working very effectively I am going to purchase another one tomorrow and run it with carbon alone because the, the, the great thing about this this reactor is that it's so easy to do the maintenance and I'm gonna show you why on the top here it's got the inlet and the out the inlet which is, hold on, let me see. I think you guys can see it. Here's the inlet. Here's the inlet and here's the outlet. This thing, you could just pull it off, pop, and it snaps right off because it's made out of rubber. And this one too. So if you ever want to change the media, you shut off the pump, remove this, remove this, and take the reactor with you and just change the media. So it's very easy to work with. Um, it's doing a magnificent job at lowering my nitrates. I mean, I'm sorry, not my nitrates. I don't have a nitrate problem. My nitrates are actually zero. But my phosphates was a concern. So what I'm going to do is, of course, I'm going to buy the stages needed to replace on my reverse osmosis filter. And I'm going to get another one of these to run carbon. And then I'm going to do a part four of these um, videos to show you the true progress of whether or not this is taking effect. I can tell you the bad things about it. Number one, when I tell you that the media is really strong, it was so strong that phosphates can actually prevent your corals and the coralline algae from using up the, the, the calcium in your system. When the phosphates dropped to zero, the tank went crazy. The pH dropped to about 8.16, and I had it at 8.3, and the calcium dropped to about 400 ppm. So um, it's you gotta prepare yourself. Have some um, bionic calcium and alkalinity to make sure that you correct your water parameters. But I only had to actually correct it the next day, and I haven't done so after that. So stay tuned for part four of this video, because this is a very hot topic. Um, it's very important for you to have nearly undetectable levels of, night, of phosphates in your system. So this is part three. Stay tuned for the next video. New York Stilo signing out. Any comments, questions, suggestions, hit me up, guys. I'm going to get to the bottom of this problem, and I'm going to correct this problem. So, till next time, peace.